Hi muggles of YouTube, today I'm bringing you a review of some Noble Collection ones and the Noble Collection one stand. Most of these are gifts, I did buy one but they are all pretty much from the studio tour in London. One is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and the one stand was ordered from Noble Collection itself. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with the boxes. Uh, they're pretty plain. Um, they either come in brown or grey, depending on uh, the characters. They have um, the Harry Potter Studio Tour logo on the back with the price sticker. These were $24.95 from the Studio Tour. On the ends of the boxes they have the character that you have bought inside. It is literally just plastic which is coated in kind of velvet material. There's a little tag that says Fragile Collector's Wand, not a toy. But let's face it, we are all going to play with them. Um, this one came from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter from the Ollivander's store. As you can see it says Ollivander's makers of fine ones since 382 BC. Um, on the end is just an O for Ollivander. Uh, it says the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. These are quite a bit thicker than the ordinary ones and a bit shorter. They're not actual character ones. Um, my friend told me she looked for my birth date and this is the wand that represents my birth date so she got it me from there as a gift. We'll start with that one first. To me it looks more like a Death Eaters wand but it um, has this little plastic thing on the end which makes me think it's interactive at the parks. It might be, might not be. I am going in October, so I might try it out depending on how much I decide to pack. But as you can see from the top, this is a skull. I have quite a dark wand for my birthday, if I'm honest. It reminds me of, De of a Death Eaters wand. And this just looks like vertebrae. you turn it on the back there is a trademark for Warner Brothers as usual on all these ones and as you work your way down it's just a bit knobbly they are made from resin I believe there is a solid bar of metal through the center so they are very heavy the next one I have is the first one I bought it is my one of my favorite characters and that is McGonagall and hers is in two different colours this mahogany brown at the top and black at the base these do not have plastic at the end the end of the tip is rounded and it's just smooth again another Warner Brothers uh, trademark And then that just goes out and there is a sort of plastic thing on the end. That is McGonagall's. Next up we have Nymphadora Tonks. My surname is Tonks so obviously I love that character. And she's just colourful and different and her wand reflects her I think. Um, it's a very strange kind of leaf shape on the end with a hollowed out section. I don't know if you're supposed to hold it like that. that I, think, I found that's the easiest way to hold it. But this is very long and thin. It has stripes all the way down it and it's very thin at the bottom compared to McGonagall's wand. You can see that's quite chunky but I do love this one and it looks great 
in the stand. Last but not least, I have the Elder Wand, the most famous wand in the films as you, and the books. As you know, it becomes the main focus of the books at the end and why it is destroyed by Harry, I do not know. Um, there is another trademark on this, but it basically looks exactly like the wand in the film. Um, just has these bobbly sections. It's very easy to hold. It has these symbols near the handle. And it, this is just all hand painted and carved. The end is nice and smooth. And that is the Elder Wand. Now for the wand display. This is definitely by Noble Collection. Um, I believe I paid about £35 for it. Um, it may have been in a sale, but I believe it's around £35-£40 usually. You do have to pay postage on top of that from Noble Collection. But they are very fast in delivering their items. Um, this came in about two days after I ordered it, so I was very happy with it. Um, it's basically this mahogany wood. I don't believe it's real wood, it's like a composite wood. But it looks like mahogany. And it has... I don't know why it has these on top, because you don't place these on a surface. That's the top of the frame. You do hang it up. That's the only way to display it. You can't rest it on anything unless it's leaning against a wall, because it will fall over. Which I wish it had a stand on the base. But as you can see, it's just these two legs. And they're not flat, so you can't stand it on its own. At the base here, there is a, a bar which is used to place name tags if you buy um, Noble Collection ones from Noble Collection they come with a little metal tag that you can hook onto there and um, you don't get those with the ones from the Studio Tours or from the Wizarding World I don't know why but I think they're only available online but then you have this glass, it is Perspex I think, not real glass but it has the Hogwarts crest on there in gold behind the glass it's very nice, it's surrounded by um, gold metal framing and as you go up you have these clips that the wand just rests in it's not tight against the wand so you can get various sizes um, they just rest in there and it stops them from falling over uh, there's only four, you can get a 10 space one but I didn't want that many ones um, I only wanted my favourite character ones so once I've finished I won't buy any more but it's shaped at the top rather nice frame it gets dusty very easily but you just give it a quick wipe and it's fine on the back of the bottom it does say Harry Potter and it has the Warner Brothers trademark and it just has screws around the outside holding it all together. This in the background is um, a maroon velvet. It's really good quality. And at the base here, just small rivets in the wood which you use to place the tip of the wand in. I'll show you how I usually do it. So that just holds it in place. And then that hangs on my wall above my okay bed. Hey guys, that's my small wand review. I'll bring out another review when I get the last wand I want, which is Luna's wand. Um, you can see this uh, frame in place in my room review if you check out my channel it's one of the second videos I posted so go over there and look at that and you can see some of the items I have around my room if you'd like me to do any reviews of anything you saw in there just ask below um, yeah that's it <laughs> Nox Petrificus Totalis
Not supposed to eat it. Crucio!